what if I told you that this listing sells twice the amount as this one and that has a lot to do with their description? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you six tips that will improve your description and increase your sales and they are based on the updates that we've received from Etsy about the algorithm. Hi guys, my name is Vlad. I'm the owner of TagPuff. It is the number one pet product store on Etsy in terms of daily sales. You can check with E-Rank. I'm also the number one handmade dog collar on Amazon Handmade. And that's of course as of recording this video. So if, I, if you're watching this in the future and you can't find me and my store is shut down, life wasn't good to me. But I do know a few things about selling handmade on the internet. So if you are interested in scaling your handmade business, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I try to provide the highest valuable content as possible to make sure that you make the most accurate decision based on the information and the data. There wasn't that many resources when I started off and I've accumulated a lot of knowledge as I was growing and scaling my business and I want to share that with you. So, and that I do that on this channel. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm also working on the course and that's still in the, in, in the works. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, I'll probably have a link about, you know, my course in the description, go check it out. So, all right, writing description. Now, if you would have asked me a year ago how to write a description properly, I would have told you, don't really worry about it. Etsy does not care about your description in regards to SEO. And that was kind of funny because Google still cared, right? Google crawlers, and that's how it, Google indexed your product on the Google page or your listing on the Google page, is it sends little crawlers, these little digital bugs that would uh, crawl all over the website and, and the, the link and the, the pages, and it would read through the first 160 characters of your description along with the title and the, the tags, and it will categorize or, or, or uh, index your listing accordingly. So though when Etsy didn't care, Google always cared. Google always cares about your life and your person. <laughs> Google cares about too much. So Etsy about in May, I believe, it released a, a statement saying, we actually kind of do. And straight from the horse's mouth, the first point is aim to incorporate relevant keywords in the first few sentences of your listing description. So that's going off of the 160 characters that Google cares about and Etsy's like, okay, fine, we're gonna care about it. So when you do your proper keyword research, now I will have the link in the description for on how to do that. So check it out after watching this video, how to properly do your keyword research. You then utilize those keywords in the first few sentences. You use, use them appropriately so to make sure that they are A, relevant to your product and two, customers are not like, what, what do you say? To make sure that you speaking to the customer. So if, so you, you gotta really focus on not just stuffing it with keywords. And that's why I think, I believe Etsy in the beginning didn't really care about the description because they wanted to discourage keyword stuffing and they wanted to like, hey, we don't care about it, so really make it for the customer. They still want you to do that. And, and that, if you had to choose between, you know, a proper SEO uh, description or higher converting customer, I would always choose that over the SEO because conversion is one of the biggest, uh, you know, measurement whether your product is going to rank higher. So always, always, always write in such a way that will improve your conversion rate. Well, question is how you do, how do you do that? Well, first, like we talked about is you write the SEO for the SEO purposes, have the proper keywords, and then write in the, in the first few sentences of your description, the, uh, you know, what, what uh, the product is about that is relevant to the product. Then the point number two is keep it simple. Use as least amount of words in your description as possible, because when you speak to the customer, you want to convert the customer. That's all you care about. Whatever the minimum amount of words that you need to, you do to get that done, limit yourself to that because you don't want to waste the valuable seconds and you only have seconds for your customers to make the decision whether they want to buy your product or not. Don't waste their time. So really condense what you're going to write after you wrote those few, those few, set, a few sentences. Really condense on what you need to speak about. And number three, have your photos do the talking for you. Photos speak much faster than the customer can read. So if you can have a photo that explains what you wanted to explain in the description, that is gonna do wonders to your conversion rate because photos convert better 
than words do. However, what if you have a lot of things you need to talk about and there's a lot of details that you need to tell the customer about because you have sizes and you got different material types you do not need to talk about that in the description. Number four is organize your description. And you can do that with making them into paragraphs. Don't just make one big paragraph. Separate them into smaller paragraphs. Two, make sure that you use bullet points, right? Make sure that you organize using bullet points. It helps the eye really skim through the description much faster. And three, use little titles, right? If you have sizes, make sure you write the word size and then if, you know, and then it's how to order or materials if that's relevant for your description because that will allow customers not to have to read through the whole thing. If they need to know one detail, they can just look, skim through it. Oh, size, medium is this size. Okay, that's exactly what I needed, right? They sometimes might not even need to read the whole thing. Sometimes if you put it all in one paragraph, they'll have to read through the whole paragraph to find the relevant information. But if you organize it, that does uh, minimize the amount of time they're spending in your description. Because like I said, you want to minimize their time spent in the description. There's a movement among the uh, website developers that uh, show that your customers, if you're selling product, of course, not it's not true with YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, you need to have your customers spend less time on your website uh, from the time they came to your website to the time they checked out uh, with their cart. They need to spend the least amount of time. And Amazon does this amazing job where you jump on Amazon, you find, you click, you swipe, you're done. And when you can have your listing act similarly, you're going to have better conversion rates. So it's very important that you do not waste your customer's time and organize your paragraphs to, to, to make sure to allow the customer to just skim through it if there is a lot of detail that you want them to know. Number five is stop copying. Do not copy the descriptions. When Google crawls through the 160 characters of the description, if it finds that it is the same description, word for word, same title, word for word, that of the other competitor or that of the other page, Google's not going to know how to index that page in regards to the, the, the similar page. And so you're going to be in a place where the sun don't shine much longer than if you were to write it yourself, change it up a little bit. Then Google's like, okay, maybe we can rank it all along with this one because it's very uh, close in regards to keywords. So we're gonna put it right next to it and we're gonna see which one does better. But if it's the same thing, Google's not even gonna wanna try to do that. That's how Google works. And I could imagine that that is how Etsy works. So do not copy the competitors. It is uh, known that you need about 60% uh, differences uh, in the description or in the, the uh, this, from one listing to another, it needs to be 60% different. So this is going to be a lot more hurtful to those that are doing uh, digital products or print on demand when you have two, 3,000 different listings because uh, they like to just duplicate, change the photo, maybe a couple of keywords and off they go, right? You really will need to spend time on really writing a new description. All right, number six, and that is the new algorithm. The new algorithm acts very, very differently, and that should shape how you write your description. The algorithm has become a lot less like, you know how you used to ask your friend, uh, say in New York, and say, hey, bro, can you go on uh, incognito mode and check out uh, you know, this keyword and see if I'm ranking uh, on, on top of that keyword? It no longer works like that because every user that goes on the platform has already pre-existing uh, data that's been collected on that person and it optimizes the page based on that information. So you, so each customer uh, has its own first page. And so what you need to do is make sure that you use descriptive terms to write in your description. For example, my wife likes the color teal. Uh, she doesn't say it, she doesn't notice it, but I noticed it. So if she has two dresses that she's at the store that wants to buy, she will choose the one that is teal. And if she would spend more time on Etsy, Etsy would recognize that. And one of these days, might, maybe she'd go on there and say, hey, I want a floral purse, right? A floral sewn purse. And Etsy's gonna be like, I know the kind of color floral you'll need. And it's gonna offer her the teal floral purses, right? And because that's gonna convert better with my wife. And so Etsy gets really good about the visual variations, visual textures, visual styles, it gotten really good at noticing that even if you look at that similar item feature that's kind of kind of scary because it, it really recognizes even the photo the similarities and it will find products that have similar attributes so etsy gets really good on the visuals on the descriptions on how the product looks like so if you help etsy out with this one by utilizing color textures styles in your description 
you're going to help uh, Etsy to uh, put your, or your product in front of the correct um, eyes or the correct customers that will convert the best. So make sure that you pay attention to your, to your description in regards to how the product looks like. And I always say this, if your product has a unique uh, attribute that, for example, on the last video I told about clamshell oy oysters, uh, oyster ornaments, right? You could have just said ornaments, but if you write oyster ornaments, more specifically oyster map ornaments, uh, you're going to have a much better success rate because uh, this is a, a detail people are looking for. And if they look at, say, map gifts with maps on it, and then they type in ornaments, well, that your oyster is going to pop up. So it's really important that you let Etsy know of those details. All right, hopefully you found this video to be useful. If you have, make sure to like this video. Kind of leave me a tip. That's, that's a, like a YouTube version of a tip. So that'll be awesome. All right, guys, see you next time. But that's only if you subscribe and hit the bell notification. Then you'll see my videos. Bye.